And friends, we're at sea with one of the fightingest carriers of the Pacific Fleet. On this pitching, swaying deck, young men of courage take to the sky in all kinds of weather. They fly their missions, and then they must return to find this speck lost somewhere in the sea. We came aboard here in order to answer this request. It's from a Miss Maureen Clary, looks at us over WABC-TV in New York. She writes, in James Mitchner's book, The Bridges at Tokori, I read that when jet planes land on a carrier deck, they are stopped by slim nylon barriers, and their lives are in the hands of one man, the LSO, as the landing signal officer who directs them in. Could you show this exciting and dangerous procedure? Well, Maureen Cleary, the LSO stands far aft there on a very tiny platform. He's dressed in a canvas suit that has strips of fluorescent cloth stitched to it so the pilots can see him very easily. Now, in each hand... Prepare to launch jet aircraft. Pilots, man your plane. Now, in each hand, he carries one of these fluorescent landing signal paddles that he uses to guide the pilots in to safety. Now, we have a flight of these banshees preparing to take off. They're going to rendezvous at 10 miles and then come back for a landing. So stand by, Miss Cleary. Yes, the thundering banshees take to the sky. You ask for it. Small rocks being hurled into the air. And yet each of those banshees weighs more than nine tons. Now they'll be back in less than a minute. Swinging around to the rear of this carrier. And as they make their final approach, each of the pilots puts himself in the hands of that landing signal officer you saw. And thanks God that he's there. From then on, it's up to the LSO. On every flight, it always comes to that, that hair-raising moment of human judgment. When one man, standing alone in the remotest corner of this ship, has to decide whether the jet roaring down on him can safely make it. He must estimate the speed and the height of the plane, the pitching of the deck and the wallowing of the sea. And then at the last screaming second, he has just two choices. Bring him in or wave him off for another try. If he chooses wrong, it might cost the pilot his life. Well, the LSO is on his platform standing by. Here they come.
are heroes, every one of them. But underneath, you know what? They're just average lads like your son or mine or the lad next door. Now, James Michener paid them a stirring tribute in his book, The Bridges at Tocco Reef. The producers Pearlberg and Seaton have done a superb job of adapting this story for the screen. It stars William Holden and Grace Kelly, Frederick March, Mickey Rooney. Well, Miss Cleary, we all got a closer look at the dauntless men who fly from carry. By the way, you young fellas out there, you don't need to just look. Just go to your nearest naval air station if you desire to be 